Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to LA Noir for more crime fighting point and click action. We are right back where we left off, tailing this lady um, to see hopefully if she knows where the missing boxer is who we were looking for. Uh, we're gonna see. I don't know if she does know. We got caught last time. We've been caught so many times actually. She turns around in a second, doesn't she? Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Okay, she's still going. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Where's she going now? Up that way. Right, we don't want to upset that car. Right, she's taking a very odd route to wherever she's going, isn't she? Let's be honest. It's a very weird way of going to wherever she's off to. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Okay, she's gone that way. Oh, she stopped. I don't think she can see us. She can't. Nice. Okay. So she's off this way now. <gasps> oh, she turned around again. <laughs> we were lucky there. So I've already failed this twice, this pursuing her sort of thing. So I'm hoping that this time we'll be able to make our way to wherever we need to get to. Is she going down that alleyway now as well? Yeah, she is, look. Okay. I think she's stopped down here. Just to turn around. We don't want to go up against those pallets in case they fall over. Which way is she going now? Right, okay. So guys, remember as well the usual warning that goes with these videos. This episode could contain scenes which some viewers find upsetting or distressing. Oh, here we go. Thrifty liquor. I wonder what's down this way. Some sort of liquor store? Is she going in there? Looks like she is, yeah. Or at least one of the shops along here. I don't know if it is that specific one. There's Roy. Bookmakers? Yeah. Oh, Rise bookmakers, I see. Oh no, it is. Bookmakers office, 4.59pm. Okay, sorry guys, I just had to go and do something quickly. Uh, but I am back. Okay, do we go in? I guess we go in. A blonde woman just came in here. She went out the back way. Said she was being watched. How much does she Damn collect? Thirty-six hundred dollars. She claimed me out on the Hammond Kid Galahad fight. You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door. Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. Well, okay. Over here, you say. What are you doing? An old oh, we gotta do this thing again. Mind. Examine a drugstore. Does that say? One f f was that one four eight seven? One four eight seven. Ivar Avenue. Hollywood. It's going to be Hollywood, isn't it? We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. Okay. So we need to go there, to that drugstore then. Right. Quickly into the car, and we're going to track her down. All right. Examine the drugstore. Further to your request, Bumco Fraud has three known bookmakers operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area. Okay. We've been there. Ah, Max Spirits. We might be able to go there then. Hammond backed himself to win. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. 
I see. Question is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf, or is she cheating him too? Yeah, that's what we don't know, isn't it? We don't know if she always planned to make a run for it with the money. I guess that will all become clear. Either way. Right, so I'm guessing if we miss her at this bookmakers we can just go to that last one that we just got told about on the radio was it Ray's bookstore or something was it here we go the examiner drugstore bookmakers office 5 10 p.m. here we go Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long Damn. did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called the cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Card over there by the phone. Let's have a look. Where is the phone? Is that it? No. Where's the phone? Oh. <laughs> right there. Yellow Cab Company. Yellow Cab. We need to get after her. Fast. HO2187. Okay, can we call it in? Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Thank you, Operator. Can you connect me to the Yellow Cab Company, Hollywood 2187, please? This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood? Yes, sir. Uh, why are they taking so long to reply? Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. Okay, so we know the cab number. We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. Okay. You have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now. No. Mark. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor. Not the, the time for times. jokes. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. Okay. I guess that's where we're going. Quickly back in the car. We'll get there before she does, hopefully. And then we can be waiting for her. Locations, raise bookmakers. Okay, let's go. This broad's planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to mm -hmm. make sure he was and then making a run for it. Than if he'd taken the flop. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. A mistake we can't see. Goodness to sake. Making. All units in the vicinity and any central unit. Citizen reports are 415 at 7th and Central. Unit to handle code 2. Identify. Excuse me. Coming through. Nice little cut through here. Look, takes us right there. Expert drive in by me. <gasps> there it is. That's the cab. That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. Oh, here she comes. Arrest her, quick. Oh, we're not. Maybe we've got to follow her. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. I won't. Too close, Phelps. Way too close. All right, all right. Don't worry. How many stops is she gonna make? We're gonna tail her from a safe distance. So she doesn't see us. Of course the lights are gonna change to make it awkward. Are they pulling in? Hammond is full of himself. Being this sure he was gonna win. Just had confidence in his abilities, that's all. There's nothing wrong with that, man. Just because you lost money. 
you weren't so corrupt, then you wouldn't have lost your money, would you? Okay, we're a bit close again. We're going to back off a tiny bit. How far is she going in this cab? Mate, do you mind not crashing into me? Thank you. Is she stopping now? Doesn't look like it. That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. Really, Roy? Jeez. You know, owed anything. You tried to bet on a supposedly fixed boxing match, knowing full well that it was supposed to be fixed. So, no sympathy from me, man. Sorry, that's just the way it goes. Okay, surely we've got to be almost there now. Okay, I think they're stopping. Interstate bus depot. Oh, she's going to get the bus, is she? <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, she's going to get the bus to go and meet her boyfriend, I guess. I think there I she just goes. Hammond. I'll tell him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. Okay. She wants a five star. Where's she going? Uh oh. Please don't come back this way. You don't see that every day. Crap. I survived the war for this. Ah, Shut up, mate. Isn't that the cop? Right, she's gone into here. Uh oh, there was a scream. Oh, jeez. What the hell? Flip here now. She been stabbed. Oh, jeez. Stabbed or shot, I'm guessing. Just try and sit still, I didn't hear a gunshot. Was it Albert? No, it was a gunshot. Oh man. She's dead. the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. Was it actually Hammond, though? That's the question. He won't wow. Out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. You sure it was him? Yeah, she's definitely dead. Okay, let's have a look around. There's the gun. <coughs> Serial number? 32 caliber. One shot fired. Okay. What's in here? Is this her purse? Looks like it, doesn't it? Ah. The Egyptian theater. That's the other side of that ticket that we found, wasn't it? Earlier in the case. Interesting. So what now? Oh, we're done here. I don't have much else to go on. Guess we're going to the theater. Uh, someone's been shot in the bathroom, guys. Um, go out and sort that out, please. Where's our car? Jeez, oh, all the way up here. Okay, come on, Roy. We've got to go. Got to go to the theater quickly. Maybe that's where they were going to meet. Could possibly be. Right, the Egyptian theater. over the grass a bit. Doesn't matter. Right. Sirens on. We're in a bit of a rush here. Out the way, guys. Coming through. Oh, it's literally just around the corner. So I guess he would have been able to run here. Right. Sirens off. What the hell? Egyptian Theatre. 9.05pm. Why is there an abandoned car there? It's kind of weird. This seems like a long shot. Aren't they all? 
Car 11 King. Message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. I knew it. Son of a bitch. He stabbed her. I knew it wouldn't be bleeding like that if it was a gun. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. It was the guy with the knife. Conclusion. Who we saw at the motel or whatever it was. I flipping knew it. Oh, let's get our. Keep forgetting about our gun in the boot. Can we get our gun out? Oh, we can't. What the hell? That's really annoying. So we'll have to. Well, I don't know if we need a gun, I suppose. Well, yeah, we're going to kill him, aren't we? Surely we're going to kill him. He's not going to come quietly. Okay, through here. She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. And you were gonna let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dive. Everyone wanted me to take a short money. It's for the best thing. You were washed so up, that waste ammo. You couldn't climb and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying. And it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much. But I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself. That's six so shots. How many bullets has he got in that? Make a quick buck. And Candy did it to make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah. I've got the money. All I need to do is get rid of you. It's going to be a shame, kid, but that's business. Okay, do we have to take this guy out? There he is. Has he seen us? We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. How many bullets has he got in that? Uh oh. This guy is coming in fear. It's kind of hard to shoot because I can't really see much. Okay. Where are we going? Stay down. So dark. Give me some goddamn cover. Aha. A new weapon. Is he out here? He is. Wait, where is he? Find some cover. He's down. I think I got him. Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's quite easy, actually. Another one bites the dust. Quite enjoyed that. It's time to come out now, Hammond. Come on, Hammond. Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Fuck you! That Shop is trick is getting away with my money, Phelps. Tough. Don't get involved with the wrong people. Donnelly and the homicide squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and a, uh, his girlfriend. 
No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. Okay. It's homicide's problem now. Good work, gentlemen. Hmm. Not sure how to feel about that. It's almost like we're learning from Roy and the others, isn't it? Oh, look at that! Five stars, no damage at all for the first time ever. We've done it. We are the champions. A perfect case. And the case notes, Albert Hammond sails for England after inexplicably vanishing from police custody. Perfect. I can't believe we did it. Okay, let's close the case. Lovely. 187 at 5810 The Naked Avenue. City. Homicide wants you over there. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, ah. Roy. Just get over there. More of the army morphine. Okay, got to take this long way out again. What's with that get up of yours anyway? I should start introducing it as Detective Earl. This is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. Shut up. Interest in my appearance is starting to get me worrying. Like it or not, <laughs> we're a dysfunctional couple now. People judge me with you on my arm the same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. I really hope you're joking, Roy. What on earth are you talking about, mate? Right, get in the car. We've got a crime scene to investigate. So, go to the murder scene. Oh, it is the current destination. Okay. Kind of weird how we come out of here down some like, little alleyway. We recovered the morphine. Some of it might be unaccounted for. So what? That's life. We did our job. Well, there's still Those things going on. Opens another. We need to Do you investigate. Have any idea what is really going on while we're wasting our time following this stuff? Enlighten you know me. me? Deals being done right now will change the face of LA forever, and we're wasting our time on some hump. What deal is that? Someone's little girl. Visit the morgue at the end of the month when the John and Jane Doe's are cremated. Their percentages, the odds for and against lightning striking. He really is a jerk, isn't he? I really don't like him. I hope he gets his comeuppance in the end. He's not a nice man. Okay, here we go, and this is the murder scene. 2.24pm. Time to take a look around. See what we can find. Second floor. Apartment 6. In the back. Thank Thanks. you, good sir. But I think we'll do that in the next one, guys, because we are pretty much out of time. So we'll leave it there. So, a good episode. We got quite a lot done. Completed yet another case and did it perfectly. And now we're going to investigate more of the army, um, the army morphine thing. Which seems to still be going on, so we'll see if we can figure it out. So, as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Up, Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.